Naruto manga chapter review 618 the ones who know everything so I had a theory well actually okay well first off this chapter wasn't really that surprising because it's something I kinda thought was gonna happen but that's besides the point what I really want to point out is the fact that not only did the, not, did the village like just like not do anything for Naruto for like his first 12 years even the third Okage who was there after witnessing these two people die that was there but they let the Uzumaki shrine look like this. This image right here is it's the first image of the chapter. They let the shrine go to start the shambles looking like that. And I mean sure enough, it's like oh it looks abandoned and stuff. There's no other Uzumaki's alive besides Naruto and then there's Karin. That's it. Kishina's dead. You know, there's there's, there's nobody else alive as far as we know. I mean, and and then like you know, so you just like well, considering that it's far away from the village, it's to be expected that it's a ban. What? No, there's no reason why it should be a ban. If you're gonna wear that symbol on your back, it's weird. But anyway, the the main purpose of going there was because Orochimaru needed to get a mask. And I'm like, why do you need to get a mask? Well, if you only remembers the Reaper Death Seal that we saw again in here, and we saw the Thorokage using stuff, Orochimaru need to get that mask because they're gonna go back in the village to the Uchiha Shrine. And the cool thing I thought about when they do go back in the village was the fact that when they get there, the village is now looking pretty much like it's been completely rebuilt, which is cool. The Leaf Village is basically back. Even though, like, the Hokage Shrine seems a little bit smaller. Not the, not the, like, the shrine, not like the mountain, but I mean, like, the actual, the Hokage Mansion. There we go. It doesn't seem like it's as big as it was last time. I don't know. Maybe it's just... But anyway, Sasuke does something like what Naruto did. If you remember the very first part of Shippuden, or part two, he runs up and he jumps on top of like the water, like the water tower thing, and he looks over the village. And Sasuke, you know, takes off his hood and he looks at the whole village, and literally Kishimoto like basically redrew the exact same image that he drew when Naruto came back to the village. Except it's nighttime now for one, and two, it's not like yeah I'm back. No, it's just Sasuke looking and like you know this place has completely changed. You know, it's been, and it's crazy, too, when you look at it, you see how the village looks looks different for one. But then just the fact that it is, you know, Sasuke back in the village. And I find it ironic, the fact that Naruto's been trying to bring him back for two years. <laughs> or about, I don't know, four years? What is he, 16 now? It was 12, part two. Two years, being 14. He's 16 by the pain arc. I don't know, however many years it's actually been. Naruto, <laughs> I mean Sasuke's back in the village, not, um, not because of Naruto, I just find it funny. And then, you know, Sugetsu's saying, well, hey, look, Orochimaru, I know it used to be you, your goal to destroy the Leaf Village like it is Sasuke's now. Looking around here, I mean, there's there's no one around. I mean, all of the heavy hitters, they're out fighting the war. Wouldn't this be a good time to destroy the village? And Orochimaru gives like a small smile, but he says that they've had a major oversight, and they that they are no longer his snakes. What that actually means, I don't really understand. I think what it means by like they're no longer they are no longer his pawns. They're no longer people that to be used for him. And then basically, like I said, they go to the Uchiha shrine, which unsurprisingly they didn't bother to rebuild. <laughs> And they, and they, I mean, even though it was in the village, nope, don't, no point in rebuilding it. And like, it's, it's almost kind of sad just looking at how beat up it is. Like, come on, really? I mean, yeah, Sasuke's gonna be pissed off. But yeah, let's just not rebuild the whole shrine they had. So anyway, they go down the shrine and they get down there, right? And then they take, they're taking the close up and Rochimar puts on the mask. And he tells everyone to stand back. And what he does is he basically channels a Reaper Death Seal guy to come up and he slices open his own belly which somehow is gonna bring, bring back his arms so they can you know do jitsu right and that's like as a sacrifice in exchange he regains his arms that makes no sense I don't know if it's a translation error we could show a jump reeling but I don't know if it's a translation error with the fact that he sliced open his body as a sacrifice and you get your arms back I, I don't know because basically the thing protect I possesses him, and because of this, though, once he gets his arms back, he'll be able to do the Edo Tensei. I was trying to say to myself, hasn't Orochimaru been able to use Jitsu, even without his arms, since then? I feel like he has. I'm, 
I don't know if I'm missing something or what. But then the, basically he's gone summon four people, and they're like, well, you know how they need four sacrifices for four people. Well, Sasuke has had hidden inside of his body like five or six uh of Natsu get Natsu getsu, but the uh. Setsu clones, Setsu clones, and they were spies that Toby had forced into Sasuke's body, which I just find weird that that, that Sasuke would never even notice that. And so, with the help of Jugo and the curse mark, he makes him come out of his body. And you know, Zitsu's is like, "How'd you know?" And he's like, "Well, for one, I regained all the knowledge when I got my chakra back from Kabuto, and number two, I I used to mix with you know Hashirama's DNA, so I kind of know what's going on here." So. They had the four bodies, and then one of them's gonna be used for Orochimaru's new, like, uh, body, basically. And he does the Edo Tensei. And first thing he does then is that he leaves his his body, goes into uh, goes into the Setsu's body. And the thing is, if you remember, the body that he was using was of that ninja from Part One, that was in the the uh, that was in the uh, Forest of Death doing the tuning exams. And he goes back in that body, and then who are the four people who know everything? Any guesses? Anyone that like, guesses the same thing? It's the four Okages. Hashirama, his brother, the third Okage, and Minato. All four of the previous Okages. And then someone's like, oh, this proves that uh, Tsunade is still alive. One, I think she's still alive. But two, no, because if she... Basically, the reason why they came all the way here was because this is where their bodies are at. And they didn't need to go all the way there, they would have done something else. But all I'm saying to myself is, like, isn't it kind of... No, it, it, never mind, never mind, that, that's, that's, that's besides the point. But, anyway, it goes, brings them back, and all four of them are there. So now they're going to learn, basically, the, the past from them. Is, but what I'm curious about is, are they going to go and fight Madonna? Because Orochimaru will be the final villain. Orochimaru was in part one as the main villain because he was meant to be the final villain. That's the whole thing. Obito's not a villain. Madara, if what Madara actually says is his true intentions, he's not a villain. He's just a guy that wants power, power hungry. And anyway, when if let's say these Edo Tensei versions of everyone goes back to the fight, goes back to you know to where the, the, the Ten Tails is at, Hashirama's gonna kick Madara's ass. Minato, I mean, unless, unless, uh. What's his name? Unless Orochimaru has some fight against the Leaf, it'd be crazy. Like Minato versus Naruto, anyone? But no, I don't want to see that. I don't. I honestly don't want. To, I want Minato to see Naruto again, though. But this would let Minato's body, you know, pass on his spear and everything, which is good. This is all good things. But basically, that's how the chapter ended, guys. There wasn't much more to it. Give me your thoughts, your speculations on the next chapter. This is the longest chapter review I've done so far. We're going to get in about eight minutes and twenty seconds coming up here. So I want to thank you all for watching, guys. And until next time, peace.